Now to the final farewell for the UPS driver who was killed in a police shootout last week. Family, friends, and fellow drivers gathering to pay their respects to Franco Donez. Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez was there. Andrew. Things became all too real for this family today, watching this casket go into the ground. They say they're not going to stop fighting for him. El mejor muchacho del mundo. The procession moves through. It stops at Vista Memorial Gardens, a slow and steady walk to the final resting place of Frank Ordonez. Relatives heartbroken, loved ones crying, many coming together to say goodbye. This lane UPS driver's mother speaking out, opening up in Spanish for the very first time. Único que sé que he dejado aquí a mi hijo y que ya no va a regresar conmigo y me tengo que ir sola. Eso es lo que yo sé. She went on to say it wasn't his time to go. He was a hardworking young father. They believe this didn't have to happen. This is murder. Frank never had a chance. Ordonez was killed last week when two armed robbers stole his UPS truck, held him hostage, started a chase, got into a shootout with police. Relatives insisting, though, police tactics only made the situation worse. Things quickly escalated. Ordonez was caught in the crossfire along with an innocent bystander nearby in his car. We could have reached out to the mother of the other uh, uh, criminal and maybe the negotiator said, hey, I have your mom on the phone. Hey, I have your brother on the phone. And, and maybe that would have helped. The family says this pain is turning into action, wanting details, wanting information about how things escalated so quickly that day. The funeral for that second victim, by the way, Rick Crenshaw, is still being planned right now. Meanwhile, Ordonez's his family plans to hold a press conference tomorrow to talk about where they go from here. That's the latest here in Miami Lakes, though. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Okay, Andrew, thank you.